Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 4th of October 2023. Time here in Da Nang, Vietnam is 6.29 p.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo important love messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Thanks for being here, Virgo. going on <laughs> the cards are all in the first ooh, ooh. and we've also got the tower world in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse hmm. six of pentacles in reverse kid Virgo hmm. I feel like this reading is for those Virgos who are going through some difficult, going through a difficult time in love, okay? Virgo, if your life is good right now, your love life is good right now, this is not the reading for you. So, Eight of Wands here is in my verse. We've got the King of Swords right here in my verse. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, definitely strong air I'm picking up on. But could be any sign, okay? Or somebody like you are, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, any fixed signs. There's somebody you are not speaking with. Look at the king and the queen. Both are in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to bend, doesn't want to give in, doesn't want to um, be the first to initiate conversations. Hmm. And I've got the Queen of Pentacles here in my verse, which is you. So maybe you're acting right now towards this person where you are not really fully invested. And also, the Queen of my verse, this is you. When it's upside down, maybe this person is turning your world upside down, right? Perhaps because of the tower here, something that may have been revealed or realized. Or the way things ended between the two of you was very abrupt, very sudden. Abrupt, sudden is the same. Um, or in a very ugly fashion. And then we've got the star here in my verse. So I do sense a lot of you could be going through some healing and recovery. Through a soul in my verse. Yeah, definitely going through healing and recovery. As well, I mean, these two cards are kind of similar, going through healing and recovery. And we've got the world here in my first, a stuck energy, still feeling really down, feeling really down, betrayed. Not a soul to my first. I feel like this person could also be very frustrated with the situation right now between the two of you, okay? Um, the separation or something that was being revealed here. But let's pull out more cards. Virgo, I feel like this is not the reading for those of you. Yeah, there's too many cards that indicates sadness, betrayal, ending. Something abrupt, okay? A very sudden change in the dynamic of this connection. And we've got the Page of Swords right here. See, another Libra Gemini Chris. If the person... If this person is not an air sign, they may have a lot of air somewhere in their chart, okay? Now, the Page of Swords is somebody who is spying, or somebody younger than you are, or somebody kind of like immature. This person may be lack of experience compared to you. May not be 100% ready to tell the truth or to commit, or don't also want to rush into things, don't want to rush into commitment. Now we've got the Seven of Cups here in my verse. Indicates a decision. Um, Six of Pentacles. Decision being made. And Six of Pentacles in my verse. Perhaps this person um, either could be entertaining other options or just somebody who is really picky, 
but still doesn't really know what life is all about. Now, the thing is we've got one knight, one page, and then one king of swords in round first. Well, this person can be of any age. <laughs> Whatever the age this person is, their mentality is still kind of young. But I would say that there's somebody quite intelligent. But they may use it not in a right way. I hope that makes sense. A little bit manipulative because King of Swords here is a lot first, right? Either this person doesn't really tell the truth or perhaps they don't tell the truth or they don't want to rush into things because they're still um, very guarded or still very young or doesn't really know what he or she truly wants as of right now. Okay, let's pull out more cards here. Hermit here is in reverse, so this person is kind of lost, or this person may have confused you, made you feel lost. And then we've also got the moon here in reverse, two of wands. I do see this person contemplating and telling you the truth, contemplating and revealing their inner, uh, inner fear. Maybe this person does have fear in getting their heart broken. And then we've got this strength here in reverse. Hmm. The lack of courage to fall in love or to give you the commitment that you want or that you need, okay? So this person is sitting at the crossroad with the two of wands. Bear in mind, Virgo, that roles can be reversed between you and this person, okay? Hmm. Should we pull out more cards? Let's find out more, okay? Sometimes the star in reverse also can indicate Virgo. If some of you, you feel like, okay, why, why is it so hard for me to meet the right person for myself? Um, the girl of your dream or the guy of your dream, okay? And there's also this very shattering energy that I'm picking up on Virgo. Like, also, like, feeling as though you want to give up on love in general but it's basically saying hey don't give up but you're still in this cycle right the moon and uh, sorry the world in reverse in this cycle and this cycle feels like it keeps happening over and over again but i see it ending i see it ending in the near future because of the ten of swords here perhaps the energy is still kind of lingering at this point of, uh this point in time and spirits could also be saying that um maybe you are not completely healed yet right once you've completely healed and perhaps the world here will turn upside down instead um being upright instead of in reverse so there's something that could be going on and on in circles um it's it feels like it keeps happening that's what it is saying virgo and some of you could be feeling like, I just want this cycle to end. Either it is like dealing with somebody who doesn't want to commit or dealing with somebody who doesn't want to speak the truth or dealing with somebody who is immature or who doesn't really know how to communicate. It don't want some There is somebody you're not communicating with or much right now at this moment, okay? And I feel like this person, again, could be spying on you. Um, perhaps Virgo... This, even though it feels more like your world is being shattered by this person, this person's world could be shattered as well by you, okay? They may be, may be feeling this way, but not wanting to really tell you because the king and the queen here, they're both in reverse. The strength in reverse can, again, indicate like lack of courage to move forward, like lack of courage to make a decision, in regards to commitment and Virgo for some of you it may not it could be that person who has issues with commitment but unbeknownst to you for some of you it could be you automat like subconsciously also rejecting um, a certain people like certain potential partner because you may not be completely healed as well okay bear in mind again it could go vice versa now we've also got the three of wands right here so it can indicate maybe the ship is sailing in soon the person that you've been longing for it may be a person that you've known before or a person whom is coming into your life which is the king of pentacles right look the king and the queen here is in reverse 
why is this happening so you've got two couples here two matches here but both matches are in round first so this could be either an indication of couple of options coming in one is a virgo capcom taurus or libra gemini chris or you could be dealing with two people at the same time or thinking about two people at the same time it may e either mean that or it could be just this energy of uh, this it, it feels like supposed to be together but not together okay for some reason there are some blockages in this connection we're gonna find out i'm curious to find out what are the blockages this is just impromptu yeah um what are blockages for you and someone a potential partner or someone like whom is already in your life right now from being able to move forward um i do feel like virgo the page of cups here is in reverse so you've got two pages already either it's you or this person if it's you it feels like virgo even if you it, it feels like some of you you may want to have a relationship but at the same time when when the person comes in there is a bit of this energy where either the circumstances are not right um not the right time or not the right place or there are some blockages here or it could be because also somebody is not ready or you may not be ready even if you think you are okay virgo we're gonna find out what are the blockages in love for virgo right now the blockages i see too many delays too many endings too many things repeating itself over and over again i feel like a lot of you are just so sick and tired of it right let's pull out more cards and see what are the obstacles pickiness <laughs> missed opportunity overthinking over analyzing let's see more stuck energy right not a sword so you've got a lot of swords here virgo again you could be dealing with an air sign or oh, this person has a lot of air in their chart could be a leo could be a libra again can be any sign but what i'm seeing here virgo perhaps the blockages would be just you um overthinking things over analyzing um so basically saying to release yourself from worries worries that are actually not even in your control and then we've got the justice right here justice can be a little bit you know um harsh sometimes you know just judging and i know a lot of virgos are perfectionists perhaps for some of you you could be kind of picky right four of cups here is in reverse so something that could have been a, um, you know a person who could be could potentially be a long-term partner for you i think to some of you you may be overthinking about this person or over this situation and that could lead to this nine of pentacles in reverse um feeling not enough feeling insecure or that you feel this person is not enough or that this person is insecure again it could go vice versa and also there's a bit of a neediness energy here um codependency right although most virgos are very very i'm also a virgo by the way so most virgos are very hardworking, very independent however it looks like whenever i don't know i hope you don't get mad at me for saying this but i'm also a virgo i'm not like trying to say anything bad to you about you but now i'm gonna go to my verse it feels like an opportunity could be missed because of overthinking or like um a bit of a neediness energy here i know a lot of virgos are very independent i'm very independent myself but there is also this overthinking energy that could lead to having some issues with your partner or potential partner okay for some of you it could also be just you being overly independent okay either it could be either 
either or or could also be both Virgo like you're so independent but there's also something that perhaps this person or these potential partners do not fulfill all of your needs right it could also mean that um, just take what resonates with you okay and then the Sun here it's it feels also very trusting the Sun I rarely read it as a new beginning, but actually the sun can indicate a new beginning. When the sun comes up, even if it's every single day, it's a new day, right? But what makes what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is that sometimes you could also be a little bit too trusting because the sun has a child right here. So something about a little bit too trusting um in the beginning part of the connection and when something happens or you see certain red flags and the justice right here right he's wearing red or she's wearing red this judge is a female you're gonna just like it, it's sort of like okay i'm gonna give you like a life sentence <laughs> um, because I trusted you or because I saw you in this very positive light and then you showed me something else no matter how big or small they are but you kind of like make that decision you know it feels like a jump from the sun to the justice like from carefree, carefree, happy, positive to like, okay, now I need to make a decision and and it has, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. And again, Virgo, it feels like now I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles and Rise, either, either the blockage would be just you being a bit too needy or that you being overly independent, um... Or it could also be both. It could also be both. Maybe because Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords just overthinking a little bit too much. I guess with a Six of Swords, it can indicate the past, going back to the past. Um, maybe because of past trauma as well, that could have led you to overthink, overanalyze, right? Definitely Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords here. It's overanalyzing. Uh, over worrying about something that might potentially sabotage a connection that probably would have needed more time to grow okay i do see the sun as growth as well let's pull out some of these romance angels let's see just a little bit more virgo important love messages for virgo Codependency, what did I say? It's cold and also it could be expectations, Virgo. Like expecting that person to do something for you or to behave a certain way towards you or within the connection. That could be the blockage as well. And we've got true love. Some of you could be looking for someone so pure, so true, so innocent, <laughs> so good that maybe that kind of person doesn't really exist right um accepting flaws because the nine of pentacles you know nine is almost ten it's not perfect understanding that nobody is perfect we've got stay optimistic and the sun is a very optimistic card so even if virgo you are overly you're thinking a little bit too much about something and when we overthink things we tend to also think the negatives Sometimes it's basically saying every time when you have doubts about someone, about your love life, try to remain positive. Try to think about positive things instead of being like a worry ward, right? Virgos, are, uh, Virgos really worry a lot. And then we've got the finances and career. Some of you, your blockage or blockages could be related to your career as well. Um, Virgos are very hardworking. You could be focusing a little bit too much on your work, prioritizing your work, 
over your love life this part is just for some of you but i do see that you do have a true love coming in virgo and this codependency can indicate maybe both of you are gonna kind of rely on each other in certain as aspects in your life and it could be a very optimistic very positive connection where both of you would be sharing your finances or help each other grow financially or career-wise a very very positive um connection i'm seeing here could be coming in for some of you and the tower also can indicate maybe this was an unex this will be an unexpected love connection and this person perhaps these two kings are in reverse and the two queens are in reverse because Either both of you have not met each other yet or have not found each other yet or have not realized that both of you are actually meant to be with each other. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channels. Chelsea Love Tarot is my main channel. Link is in the description box below. Chelsea Vlogs is my travel channel. Link is also in the description box below. If you were to subscribe to my Chelsea Love Tarot, my main channel, you can catch me live over there. Okay, and I, I do personal reading. I do mukbang tarot and then personal reading. Um, it's pretty fun. I like to chat with um, my viewers um, while I eat. And then once I'm done eating, I will do their personal readings, but with super chat only. There's no limit. But anyway, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Love you. Bye.